uh, as the visible visible unit the moving nets are the visible units and the lactant factor and the lactant factor lactant factors are the uh, you may assign me according to you it is a uh, which type of movie okay so those are known as lactant factors so which type of movies so the uh, so for, uh, for example uh, that movie is thriller movie or uh, dramatic movie okay so uh, so those are some uh, uh, so latin factor means um, uh, what will do, so we have uh, uh, but underlying latin factor so how to uh, find out how to identify uh, uh, this belongs to this latin factor okay so also that it cannot be directly related but in some way uh, uh, it, it it is observed through some model okay so but in what we will do those things instead of uh, uh, rating one to five okay so the analysis of hidden factors means the latent factors is performed in a binary way instead of giving the model user ratings that are continuous one to five star we'll say we'll say like the movie or not right not uh, like okay rating is one or zero one or zero so one one distribution one or zero like the movie or not like the movie so uh, if you consider this thing okay for each movie the, the user will provide that uh, he, he or she like the movie one or not like the movie zero these two things uh, he or she will provide from these two things only liked and not liked we will find out the uh, probability of the uh, lactant factors okay so see here for example we have a uh, one two three four five six uh, seven movie names uh, lord of the rings the matrix fight club harry potter titanic and the habit so uh, this is the initial step visible nodes uh, the each because in uh, the every computation takes place in this nodes only so the user provide the rating lord of the rings one the matrix zero fight club zero harry potter one Titanic zero and uh, minus one means say, the movie has not been watched. So we can use the this part for prediction. Okay, what is this value? So minus one means the user does not provide rating or or the user till now not uh, uh, the not watched the uh, movie. Okay, so uh, and uh, the we have here three latent factors. Uh, those are drama, fantasy, and science fiction. Okay. So this is hidden nodes, hidden nodes. Uh, so there are three hidden nodes. One is the drama, fantasy, and science fiction. So what uh, RPM is does now? Now from this one, from this one, it will compute. Okay, from this this one zero zero one zero minus one. From so from Lord of the Rings, it will this value is multiplied with the weight. Okay, and R with some uh, bias value here, then pass to the activation function, it will give some value. Okay, uh, suppose it gives uh, zero, let us say. Similarly, uh, for uh, fantasy, it gives some one, or science fiction, it gives zero. Then the probability of this drama given visible nodes, okay, visible nodes, uh, Lord of the Rings, okay, these things, the probability of drama given B, okay, P of H given B is given as P 0 0.0354, like that. So this probability 0 0.83, this probability 0 0.8. So this is the uh, hidden force. Now once we computed this value, now we have a probability values here. Now using this probability value, we will compute back this uh, uh, the um, this this uh, sample one zero zero one zero okay this input sample from here so we are getting another probability distribution here using Bernoulli okay using Bernoulli probability distribution so using Bernoulli probability distribution p uh, the uh, using the hidden values uh, probability values uh, we are computing this okay this is c you can think same this is the first iteration okay so I, I'll tell you here that original diagram uh, here here 
okay from v not the initial value 1101 we computing this probability value here so from here now we are computing this v1 okay this v1 we are computing so this v1 is computed as like this the probability of this okay p 0 0.9 0 0.17 0 0.290 0 0.85 0 0.02 0 0.91 see this is the habit okay so this is now uh, uh, if you pass through the activation function it gives the value as one okay so depending upon the activation function uh, it's suppose the probability is greater than something it gives value one so that means this one uh, now you can say uh, this one and is the fantasy okay this is fantasy type okay this uh, latent variable associated with the habit is the fantasy so this is the prediction uh, the way uh, it it does okay so similarly, if you have another node, new node array here, another new node array, then you make a connection and simply you again calculate the values of the this hidden nodes and then reconstruct the sample. Okay, and these probability values are dependent on Bernoulli distribution. So the so this way the calculation done but uh, if you want the entire uh, how the calculations and everything the numerical value you have to go to that uh, paper it is a paper in 2007 okay so and uh, apart from so upper so some extension papers also there regarding this uh, 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 rbms okay for this uh, uh, collaborative filtering so uh, part of the training phase in this application train the network on the data for all users so first we are doing training phase this one then during inference time take the training data of a specific user use this data to obtain the activations of hidden neurons okay use the hidden neuron values to get the activations of the input neurons the new values of the input neurons show the rating the user would give yet unseen knowledge just we have seen here. So the uh, habit, the habit movie, the user has not given rating because uh, she or he has not seen the movie. So initially the minus one. So now the it is, becomes one. So probability that the user will give this rating as one. Okay. And this is classified as one type fantasy. If you see the link, it is fantasy it's, uh, has value one. Okay. So uh, this is the uh, training fetch. Okay. So this way, uh, uh, this is one simple application. Uh, so uh, let us go to another applications. <coughs> Handwriting classifier. So here uh, uh, that MN IST data set uh, is uh, available. So here learning and predicting MN IST handwriting. Okay, so this is stack running. Stack running means that each uh, it, it is uh, multi layer. Okay, each uh, we have uh, uh, each RBM is stack one by one. So RBM one, RBM two, RBM three. Okay, so instead, so this is visible layer. So from hidden layer one, hidden layer two, hidden layer three, like that. Okay, it is process and uh, Hadoop execu execution. So the error rate uh, and total units okay, is given here. So <laughs> Uh, so for two layer, uh, there's two layer RBM, okay, for let us say two layer. So uh, one image is supposed to be 28 plus 28. So 500 units, hidden layer one, hidden layer 200 units. So, so 60,000 training and 10,000 testing examples, okay, 0 0.9 million parameters, give samples for, 10, uh, uh, for uh, 1 lakh steps after discriminating fine tuning. The error rate is 0 0.95. Okay. So, but uh, if it is compared with, so this is uh, from YouTube. So, if it is compared with DBN, uh, um, it is 1.2%, SBM 1.4. So, the error rate is here 0 0.95%. So, we see that uh, error rate is uh, less. Okay. Error rate is less. So, nowadays, what happens actually? Uh, people are saying that uh, uh, um, this, this uh, RBM is not uh, because the deep neural network takes its place. Okay. But uh, uh, instead, deep, oh, deep neural network. So, uh, 
అప్లికేషన్ టు బట్ సో బట్ స్టిల్ పీపుల్స్ ఆర్ వర్కింగ్ ఆన్ ఆర్బిఐ ఓకే సో వీ హెస్ సింగ్ దట్ కోలాబరేటివ్ ఫిల్టర్ అండ్ హండ్రెడ్ టెన్ హండ్రెడ్ టెన్ క్లాసిఫైయర్ సో అప్లికేషన్ టు డైమెన్షన్ టు రిడక్షన్ సో హియర్ Uh, these two papers so in 2020 restricted boltzmann machine method for dimension reduction for large spectroscopic data okay so uh, people are also using this uh, rbm uh, for dimensionality reduction because it is a recent paper so uh, not uh, 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 that uh, people people are not using it actual people are using it because if you google that uh, uses of uh, rbm you will get so many so many blocks they are mentioned it has not been used frequently okay so but uh, people are working on it so similarly feature extraction so uh, there another application of rbm in feature extraction uh, the, uh, the authors in this paper have uh, uh, did feature extraction using restricted boltzmann machine okay for stock price prediction clear so many more applications uh, for classification uh, so in 2015 this is uh, energy based restricted boltzmann machine for classification expected energy based restriction these authors are working and <coughs> some for, for classification they have used this uh, energy based so see here uh, for, for each papers so work uh, i am not present in here okay so but uh, just giving that this uh, uh, you can use this in some applications so if you see this 2019 okay the last uh, paper a parallel gaussian bernoulli restricted boltzmann machine for mining area classification with hyperspectral imagery so here uh, they have also the intuition 9 also they have used this one okay similarly for anomaly detection uh even though in 2014 they have used this uh, uh, geochemical anomaly and in 2018 the authors uh, method of denial service attack detection based on restricted boltzmann machine so uh, other papers uh, you can uh, find uh, for this uh, uh, <coughs> i mean those who have used this uh, uh, rpm okay but here uh, just uh, to give that this method uh, has been used so few papers has been listed so and the another point uh, so these are the things uh, what we are cover here uh, so the point is uh, so this is the few applications uh, of uh, rbm okay so this is all about the applications of rbm there exist many more applications and uh, uh, i think uh, uh, i will end the sessions here and the point is uh, actually i uh, removed the uh, mathematical background of rbm from these slides okay but uh, these uh, slides the last slide so that last reference okay i uh, this uh, reference okay this is 4 and 7 this is the original hinton okay so that is the uh, the so i followed this one okay and uh, some materials are from this uh, uh, websites and uh, the last uh, seven okay and six and seven uh, you get the mathematical derivations okay in particular seven you get uh, the mathematical derivations of uh, rbm okay so actually initially i plan to provide the mathematical definitions but uh, i thought uh, since it depends so i thought uh, this, this, this is enough so with this uh, i end of my presentation uh, yes there's a question in chat box yeah. sir in what yeah. situation do you prefer rbm over cnn and vice versa for an image classification task okay uh, if you remember cnn okay uh, so here in CNN, we, so the question is in which situation do we prefer RBM over CNN? Uh, actually, frankly speaking, CNN has a better advantage than RBM uh, for this uh, because of deep neural network. But uh, um, the um, 
but in CNN, we don't have uh, stochastic. Okay? The nodes have uh, discriminative yellow, okay? discrete yellows. If you see the uh, node values, they are in CNN that does not follow any distribution okay? in CNN. Directly, it is one type of uh, field forward calculations. Okay. Uh, but in uh, this is the thing. But uh, when you will prefer, uh, uh, if you have labeling data, okay, you can easily prefer uh, CNN. But if you have not labeling data, you can prefer uh, RBM. I can say uh, this these things. So one more question is there: Is there the concept of transfer learning in RBM? Uh, so. Uh, it concept of transfer learning in RBM. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. That's the question. Chat. Yeah, yeah, chat yeah. It should be because uh, um, from uh, as per as my knowledge, uh, I, I have not seen in, in transfer learning in RBM, but uh, it can be explored. If I get, I will write the answer. And another point, uh, you told transfer learning in RBM. Okay. Um, but yes, you can apply. But there, uh, there are. I have seen some papers. They have used to RBM and CNN. Okay. So in that case, you can say that yes, uh, uh, transfer learning in RBM. In that sense, you can say because the result of one you can apply in other method. So you can get those things. But if you say directly tell the how you apply it, uh, rightly I cannot. But this is the way there exist papers. They have used RBM CNN, so output of one model they are using in another model. Okay, so in this case, we can say that yes, that uh, you can use transfer learning in RBM. So I think, uh, Revat, uh, I answered your question. No, yes, uh, there is no need of uh, labeling of data in RBM. Okay, if you do labeling, no problem, but uh, the model what they suggest, no labeling. And uh, uh, another point, uh, I make you clear that. Uh, um, if the uh, ne ne uh, neural uh, in the neural network uh, you have some biological concept okay the neural network comes from biological concept even though rbm looks like uh, some neural network but you see the bio biological concept is not uh, means uh, um, and it is not tied with uh, biological concept yes i agree with that fact that uh, rbm is uh, nowadays um, used very less i agree with this fact but this does not mean that uh, it will not uh, work for some other application or uh, it will stop working like it is not like that people are working and uh, from, from different applications they are using it just i have mentioned in my slide that uh, there are some few papers they have used uh, this rbm in other field okay uh, for uh, example of cnn rbm uh, application same image processing, but it is just like uh, what, what I tell you that I have seen one paper uh, in Google Scholar. They have used uh, both RBM and CNN. So uh, I told you this is this is a type you can think it's a transfer learning. Uh, it is available in Google Scholar. Okay, but uh, right now I don't have that paper. If you want, I, I uh, you write to, to my email. I will forward that paper to you. That paper to you. Yeah, uh, you can use RBM in education student performance analysis. So you have to think about what is the, uh, in first you think about uh, in single session, single uh, one hidden layer and uh, um, sorry, one visible layer and one hidden layer. After that, you can write more uh, stacked RBM you can use. But in yeah, you can use uh, in education student performance. Yes, you can use. Because uh, uh, it is dependent upon two distributions, okay? So uh, one, uh, once you perform an analysis, if you compare the last year's performance to current performance, uh, uh, so and you can predict what will the uh, possibility of the next uh, year performance, then you have a distribution. You can compare these two distributions, okay? So at any time, you can write uh, the uh, so some question. Uh, whether RBM can be used to time series data analysis purpose. Uh, uh, yes, uh, in Google Scholar, I have seen few uh, papers. Okay, they have used uh, uh, RBM for time series for forecasting. For forecasting purpose, they have used RBM. Okay, so they have used uh, RBM for forecasting. They have used, and R RBM can be used for regression. 
and for classification already so once it so you can use for prediction forecasting for time series analysis also you can use rpm okay thank you thank you